Hello, Hope Church family. Hey, I've got a couple things I want to bring your attention. Weekly, I'm gonna try and give a video like this. Uh, hopefully, they're not too long, and I, and I hope they're, they bring value to you. Uh, right now, I feel full of hope. I don't know if it's because I'm in front of this sign or be just because God is doing something in me and through me. Um, but one of the things that I'm thinking about is I really feel like our church is heading in the right direction. I know that there's been all kinds of transition in our church and, and things moving, and, and uh, but uh, I, I do believe God is positioning us in a place where there's going to be growth um, in our church, um, in us personally, but then also as, as a church. And I think that's because a couple things are happening. I think I think we're going to be living out the, the the values that we have. If you walk in our building, you'll see these. There's five values posted um, on a, on a wall back uh, as you walk towards the bathrooms. If, if you ever visit the building, but um, it's it's we're going to be a, a a church that is discipleship oriented and it's missionally oriented. Um, um, and the way that that happens is because I believe that we're becoming a prophetic community. As we grow in the gifts that God has given us, as we grow in the unity, unified in the gifts that God has given us, I believe that we're going to be more prophetic. And at the same time, we're going to grow disciple in, dis, in the way that we disciple others and in the way that we reach others. And, and all throughout that, I believe that we're going to be fully us. We're going to be authentic. So those are the five values that we have. And as we do that, I, I do believe that God's going to just... Um, bless us as individuals, bless us as a church, and we're going to make a difference, um, and a lasting impact in the world around around us. Um, a couple of things that I want to challenge you, and I don't know if you remember last year, but I always had these monthly challenges. This month, I want to challenge you with one thing. I want to challenge you in this. Do you have friends, do you have people in your life that will text you on your roughest day, on your toughest day, on your darkest days? Um, I've had friends in the past where, man, I, they didn't know it. Um, because I didn't share it sometimes, but they would say, hey, man, I, I just really want to text you. I, I've been praying for you. And, and they would share something with me important. Um, so do you have those kind of friends in your life? And are you that kind of friend in other people's lives? I think the, the, as we spend time in prayer, I think God brings to mind the people that are close to us. And we're able to, to be able to share a word of encouragement to, to others around us. Um, I'm going to challenge you guys in that. Um, are we reaching out? And, and speaking life into those that God has put around us? And, and are we allowing other people to reach to, out to us and, and allow God to use others to speak into our lives? Uh, one great opportunity, another challenge um, is to be part of a small group. Um, we have some small groups that are opening up this uh, in the next couple of weeks. We have 10 groups. Uh, please check them out. Um, I know if, if you're an introvert or this isn't your thing or you've been a part of groups a long time, and you're like, man, I'm, I'm above that. Can I just say this? You're not above it. Um, we all need community. And, and maybe 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 you don't need them, but someone maybe needs you. Um, but, but the truth is, is that we're all better together. And people are better off with you in their lives. And, um, and so really take that to heart and say, God, what, part, what group do you want me to be a part of? Maybe you don't want to be a part of a group, but maybe God wants you to be a part of a group. So, so consider that and, and say, okay, where can I step in? And, and if you, it's never been one of the things that you, you've been a part of, I really do believe those are life-changing environments where we're, when we're, we're coming together, we're encouraging one another in God's presence, in God's word. Um, I really do believe that, that our lives can be transformed in those environments, more so than on Sunday mornings. Um, so I really, I, I challenge you, I implore you, I beg you, join a small group. And, and the other thing, just really quickly, there's been a lot of devastation that's been happening over in Florida. There's over uh, 2 million people out of without electricity. There's over 500,000 people that are struggling right now. And I heard a, a number that over 90 people have died. Um, so just be thinking about them. Pray for them. Pray for first responders, police officers, firefighters, anyone that's involved, churches that are trying to help out. Pray for them. And then uh, think about giving. Uh, Four Square Disaster Relief. I'll, I'll put a link on here somewhere. Um, you can give to them directly. Um, so just those are a couple things. I hope your week is going well. I love you guys. I'll see you Sunday.